from Eyewitness Sports. This is the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. Welcome into the season premiere of the Friday Night Blitz with Ruthie Polinski. I'm Yanni Karakis. Maury Hirschgorn joining us in a bit. Ruth, one of our favorite fall traditions. Yanni, so excited to be back, and we have some great non-league action to start things out. And we begin with our game of the week. The defending undefeated D2 champs, North Kingstown, now playing in D1, visiting D1 state semifinalist Portsmouth. And look at the zoo crew tonight in full force, white out for the home crowd. First possession of the game, third and short for North Kingstown. Look at the wheels on Tyler Calfan. He's back he's and he's last fast. Year. Long run finally gets taken down just short of the goal line. Gabriel Sloat capping off the drive Ooh. here, running it in. 7-0 NK right away. NK defense, Yanni, showing up big tonight too. Kyle B showed deep and it's picked off by Sloat. He takes this one downfield. Yeah, he's going to keep going. Keep going. Finally gets down, but it leads to this. Calfean escaping. Tackle after tackle. And oh. where is he going to go? Into the end zone. It's 21 0 Skippers. Portsmouth finally getting on the board at the beginning of the second quarter. Kyle Bishow sending it to Brian Hamilton. North Kingstown, though, takes their Division I debut by storm. They get the win on the road over Portsmouth 56 14. Wow, statement win. Barrington visiting Cranston East at the stadium. Eagles trailing 21 7 when they go in a full comeback mode. Nicholas Roach gets the rally started, calls his own number off. Ooh. To pay dirt, busts through the line, cuts the lead to seven. After Jack O'Connell recovers a fumble, Roach hands to Mark Bernardo. He scores to tie it, but it's East winning a wild one, holding on 43-42. Ooh, crazy. Full house on hand in Cumberland. Clippers hosting Cranston West in another D1 battle. Falcons with a two-point lead. Clippers trying to get offense going, but Cameron Alves, he had other ideas, Yanni. He steps in front of the pass, good return on the INT later in the game. Cam, he gets it done at quarterback too. Big first down would help seal the win. Falcons get a big road win, 20 to 12 over Cumberland. He went high in my fantasy draft. Fireworks at Lincoln, what is going on? Fourth of July, Lions now in D2 hosting Shea in D1. Second half, Lions trying to hold on to their lead with some defense. Alex Paris, big tackle for a loss. So dynamic, Shea special teams. Jalen Smith, he has some room. He thinks he's going deep into Lincoln territory, but that'll come back with a flag. Mm. Lincoln's defense does the rest. Lions win 27 to 10. East Providence visiting Mount Hope. Townies up 14 to nothing to start the second half, but it's the Huskies with the momentum here, Yanni. Anthony Bernardo with the interception Ooh. and the quarterback himself leads his team down the field to a touchdown. He hands it off to Dylan Martins, but the late rally not enough. East Providence wins 20 to seven. We have the East Providence Band soon at Parasol Field. The Villanovans of Woonsocket taking on St. Ray's. That's former Patriot Patrick Pass, part of the Woonsocket coaching staff. Fourth quarter up 16-0, punting from deep in their territory. Andrew Andella of the Saints with the great effort. Woo! Spinning, fighting. you got to keep the legs moving. He keeps them moving wow. all the way down to the seven with a helmet flying out, in fact. From their QB, Andre Gray looks left, finds Jaden DeLamba in the corner of the end zone for the score. Villanovans win. 23 to 6. So much action around the state. We're excited now to bring in Maury Hirschgord. And Maury has some uh, big matchup in D2, D3. Maury. Yeah, Yanni. West Warwick, always a contender in D2. And Tolman this year moving from D1 down to D3. But they could be a dangerous team at the Division 3 level. West Warwick taking on Tolman at Max Reed Field. We're going to jump to the second quarter. Tolman quarterback Justin Clemenchuk fakes the handoff, gets stuffed, but wait, keeps the legs alive, breaks away for the score. It's 6 0 Tigers. Wizards right back on their own 20. Quarterback Mason Pacheco with the deep sideline pass to Jaden Clark, hauls it in, and his legs do the rest of the work. They tie it 6 6, and they go on to win it 30 14. Westerly on the road visiting Charaho, and this one, all Bulldogs from the start. Early first. Direct snap to the running back, Tristan Toronto. Really good patience, finds the seam, and no one will catch him. 32 yards for the score, seven zip Bulldogs. Next possession, more Toronto. He was a first team All State selection last year and showing why. Sheds one and then two tackles. His second of three touchdowns on the night. He finished with over 200 yards on the ground. Westerly blanks Charaho, 45 0. 
Big win for the dogs. Coming up on the Blitz, more highlights from around the state, plus our social media segment. And we mic up East Greenwich head coach John George when the Friday Night Blitz rolls on. Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues. Welcome back to the Blitz. I'm Ruthie Polinski, and that's Yanni Crockett. That is. <laughs> East Greenwich and Coventry, two neighboring towns, always in contention come November. Hawaiian shirt night, and John George mic'd up later in the Blitz. Scoreless first half, Conrad Swanson down the sideline to Andrew Plimpton, Avengers in business. Later in the drive, Swanson play action pass to Plimpton. Perfect pitch and catch, 7-0 EG. And Ruthie, what's an EG highlight without a Lichardi? I don't know, Yanni. There's two now. <laughs> Last year there was three. This is Kevin for the score. EG wins 35-6. to six. Those Lichardis, love them. Central making a trip across the capital city, taking on Mount Pleasant. Second play from scrimmage. Deuce Addison finding Frederick Millay out in the flat. Ooh. Frederick is off to the races. That's good for 70 plus yards and a score. Mount Pleasant gets the upset win over Central, 32-30. In Warwick, the Pilgrim cheerleaders, plenty to cheer for. Patriots hosting classical second quarter. Pilgrim's Mike Borges swings it out to Ethan Romeri. He puts the defender on skates. Nicely done, down just shy of the goal line. Next play, Borges punches it in from a yard out. This one, all Patriots. Just like Sunday's game versus the Texans, right? Hey, 36 now. to 6. <laughs> Smithfield visiting Ponagansett. We're scoreless in the first quarter. Ponagansett with the ball here, but a sloppy handoff means a fumble, and Sentinels are there to recover it. We're still in the first. Ponagansett looking better on this run. Jeremy Stone Ooh. breaking a couple of tackles, and this kid can run. Look at the wheels. He's now the big man on campus, and he's a freshman. All the way to, to the house for the touchdown. Drive. Chieftains win. Does he have his 28-0. <laughs> Good one between Tiverton and Narragansett. Late first half, freshman Anthony DeSico finds Jordan Rendeau. Gansett down one at the half. Late third, Mariners up 28-21. Tiverton QB Matthew Gayosh crosses the goal line. That ties things up. Fast forward to overtime. Tiverton up six. Mariners fourth and goal. The Tigers stuff them on the goal line. Ooh. Unbelievable. Tiverton rolls. In OT, 40 to 34. Yeah, yeah, guys, it was a great night on social media. People posting some of the best pictures and videos. We're going to start here with the NK Booster Club, a packed house, and the skippers coming down with a sack on the Portsmouth quarterback. Next, it's Amanda Marie from Pilgrim. A little shout out to the Pilgrim cheer squad as they take a convincing win over Classical. And Margot Gagnon, you saw it a little while ago. Tiverton with the goal line stop over Narragansett. Make sure to post your pictures and updates next week using the hashtag Blitz12. And you too could be shown right here on air. Guys, we got a lot of Blitz12 tonight. Love the Blitz12. Uh, one of our favorite segments returning this year. We mic up a coach this week. East Greenwich's John George gets the honor. Oh, Who's that? Who's that middle route? That's Who? uh, safety, but Joey. Yeah. Jo Josh wasn't there. On film. Exactly. That safety's walked down more though, isn't he? Yeah. Right. Would you say? Come on. Curtis. Hey, Curtis. 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 Use your head. Use your head. Let's go. Uh, week left. Uh, match 53. Yeah, it's 10 yards and it's... Conrad, just here, just here. Oh, we... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Didn't I say I don't think we'd get the post? Good job. Uh, 69, I think they're pressing Andrew on the back. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice play, nice play. Uh, Lucky's probably better, huh, Danny? You want to go brown gap? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. There it is. There it is. Is he in? All right. <laughs> that cookie touchdown is one of the all-time greats. Back to high school football. LaSalle playing an interstate game with uh, Monsignor Farrell. They fall tonight. Hendrick in action tomorrow. A lot more action tomorrow. And your big takeaway from tonight was what? NK, I'm so impressed with them. Um, moving up to D1, not intimidated by Portsmouth, who had an excellent run last year. And I talked to Coach Gil Martin before the game. He told me that there was a lot of, it seemed like there was a little bit of nervousness, mm, a little timidness. Well. Kyle Bishow, they have the, all these weapons um, returning for Portsmouth. And look at NK coming Barrington, away with a Cranston, great game. Uh, a lot of good action tonight. All the highlights on WPRI. 
Bleacherbrief.com, uh, including our other segments. We always close out with our band of the week, so East good. Providence. So good. John Bon Jovi, <laughs> living on a prayer. Good night.